What is up everybody, Darkghoul here, back again with another video. But in today's video, we're going to be opening up the Tapu Koko figure collection box. Now, I've been dragging on this box for so long, and it's just been sitting in my room waiting to be opened. However, for our box, it came upside down. And then with a pack of like extra sleeves taped to the side, and then the side of the box is actually re-taped, so I don't know if things were messed with or they just did that to put in the sleeves but we'll find out sooner or later if it's been tampered with without further ado let's just go ahead and unwrap this box because it is taking up a lot of the view as you can see my setup is not really the biggest so let's just uncrack this thing and see what we get Alright, so first of all, let's go ahead and take a look at the promo card. Now, I swear, I saw this promo card before. Where is it from? I don't I can't remember off the top of my head. But here is the Tapu Koko promo card. And we do get these weird sleeves. They have, like, some kind of odd pattern to them. So let's just go ahead and use them and see, like, the quality they are. I mean, they're not... Okay, they're pretty big for Pokemon cards. So it looks kind of ridiculous. So I am going to be taking that off and using... Good old penny sleeves, because y'all already know these sleeves are the bomb.com. Actually, they're not the best, but they're just little cheap sleeves to put in cards like hollows, stuff like that. Anyways, here is the code card to the Tapu Koko figure box. So let me know what you guys get on that besides the promo. And then here is the Tapu Koko figure right there looking really, really clean right there. Look at that. Look at that. Give you a nice view of the Tapu Koko figure right there. And it looks like the booty has a hole right here. I think that's where this comes into play. And you just stab it in the booty. So let's actually go ahead and try it. And see if we can assemble this figure. So what we're going to be doing is penetrating the booty right here. Um, let's see how do I put this in. Alright, I think we got it. I think we got it. Let's actually try it and see how it goes. So this piece goes in like so. Give me another second. Okay, guys, the figure actually fell on the floor and I cannot figure it out. So I'll figure it out later in another video and I'll let you guys know because it's wasting way too much time and I don't want to waste time assembling a figure. So without further ado, guys, we got one Sun and Moon pack, a Steam Siege, and two Guardians Rising. We're going to be doing it in the order of Guardians Rising, Sun and Moon, Guardians Rising, and then Steam Siege first. So let's see what kind of pulls we can get and let's get it where's the first code right here guys let me know what you guys pull in the comments down below and let's do three to the front i believe you can get breaks in this set so hopefully the green code isn't always such a bust but we got a litleo nidoran nosepass nuzleaf steelix spiritling clang a joltic reverse and a gastrodon non hollow so nothing right there Let's actually clean up the setup a little bit more. Now I was opening, I was de debating to open something old school or this Tapu Coco box and I haven't opened as much new stuff as I thought I'd be opening, but so then that's when I was like, might as well just open up this Tapu Coco because Burning Shadows is right around the corner and I am really pumped about Burning Shadows and I'm actually thinking about getting a booster box for Burning Shadows only for the fact that ho-oh is in that set now i'm not i don't really care too much about the charizard as much as other people are i do prefer ho-oh over charizard all day any day no matter the rarity or whatever the card is so here is the code card for this pack right here and it is for the front and that was a white coat so hopefully we get something good on here and then that will actually prove the point that this box isn't tampered with or anything like that. We got a Bounce Sweet, Cutie Fly, Fighting Energy, Alolan, Roticate. I thought that was a rare in this set, but it is an uncommon. We got a Dark Tricks right here. We got a Great Ball. Our reverse is a Cosmog. And then the final card is a Crocodile Holographic. A freaking Holographic. I swear, these Holographics need to be a green code, not a white code. There's no reason to make hollows a white coat. It just brings your hopes and dreams down and it makes you sad 
really really sad so next code and we got a freaking green code so y'all already know this box is not that good we didn't get anything good we got a phantom barboach carvana Taylo, jangmo o psychic energy multi switch flushing dirt alolan graveler a vanillux rare reverse so that's not too bad right there and then we've got a wish cash freaking non-hollow rare i'm actually not gonna sleeve up this vanillux because it doesn't deserve a sleeve and then to round up our pools we just got a tapu coco promo card a crocodile holographic and then a rare reverse so all in all this box was pretty much a dud and we didn't get anything else we couldn't even assemble the figure guys but all in all burning shadows is right around the corner it's coming through in august i believe is the official english release date for burning shadows so i'm very excited about that guys in the comments down below let me know what you guys want to see me open or do you guys want to see me open more old school stuff or do you want me to open like the newer stuff or a mix of both because i've been debating on doing both most likely because i've been ordering a bunch of old stuff as well as new stuff so i want to keep a mix of both but without further ado guys i'm gonna go ahead and end the video right here and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace